as I speak to you, the brand new planes that are brought in cannot fly six months after. Cannot fly. We are ready. NC has given us the right and everything to go. But we cannot fly as I speak to you now because customs is, is gone back to be charging us in flagrant uh, I mean disobedience of the law to be charging airlines surcharge on duties that are non-existent on our spare parts and everything they put surcharge what they do is they will give you the duty maybe the duty is 500 million they waive the duty but they now charge you 7% of that 500 million so there's no foundation for that that is illegal absolutely illegal and airlines are being made to go through this if not for the Honorable Minister of Aviation, airlines would have gone on strike and decide to down tools. We've been discussing that and they think it's a joke. But there's a limit to which we can listen to our minister. Because the minister wants us to fly safe too. There's a limit. So, they gave you the assessment, the assessment carries the duty that has been at large. They tell you, okay, we are waiving it, but we are charging you 7% of what is not supposed to exist. So, we, we call on the Senate of the country to help us address this issue if you are not able to bring in your spare parts as a when you to get the aircraft up that is a problem you passengers must experience delays because the fewer planes that will be available if anything happens to any of them, you have to wait for one to go around Nigeria before doing another flight. That is why you fly at midnight at times. We need customs to change the way they deal with us. The government of this country has given us this and um, this because the president of this country is highly interested in indigenous investment surviving he didn't waste a minute in signing this into law so why should any government agency not feel the force of the man on the beat and everybody is criticizing him If something like this happens to the president, that one happens to the president. He has done his bit. And he must be praised for doing his bit. Another one is the end user certificate that we are supposed to get from the National Security Advisor's office. They developed a quarter where there are certain parts that are designated as um, dangerous goods. You must get the end user certificate before you are allowed to import 
dos paths. Even those countries where the paths will be coming from will not even al allow you to ship until you bring that from the Nigerian government. Let me give you an example. One empty aircraft. Nothing is wrong with that aircraft apart from one spare part. We identified the spare. We paid for the spare. It took us three months to get the end user certificate. If you go to the portal, I don't know, they don't know how to address the portal, they don't know how to go through it. It took us three months while the plane was lying there on the ground. That's colossal loss. I'm bringing this to the fore so, so that some of the agencies, may, they may not know, to help us. Aviation is, um, is not a profitable venture. I'm happy you have a uh, uh, distinguished uh, Senator Nala with you. It's not a profitable venture. It is not, but it takes your, it's addictive. When you go into it, it's addictive. You can close your other businesses to go into it. Our minister knows more than I do. He's both a pilot and an engineer, aircraft engineer. So it's addictive once you're into it. You never do any other thing again. It, those of us in it are just in it for service. And we should be helped to help our country. I think also the uh, airports should be helped to you know, develop more parking spaces. Now we are bringing in more planes, so many airlines um, are coming, bringing in more planes. They are going to be planes all over. But the parking spaces are not there. So sometimes in the morning, if you have a 6.30 flight, uh, Harry will need to do some push, a piece to do to extricate one aircraft. All those time wasted, you can never get them back. So the 6.30 uh, 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 a.m. flight might end up going at 7.30 because of parking constraints. So I think the uh, Ministry of Aviation should be funded more uh, to help us develop more aprons uh, so that we can have uh, more, because a lot of airlines are actually uh, coming up now.